And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Maokai Nasus. This one should be pretty sweet. This is going to be um, a new Maokai deck that I put together for our Maokai Spotlight Knight, which is going to be a deck that will remind you of Thresh Nasus. Thresh Nasus, of course, is, you know, one of the best decks in the metagame right now. And so I kind of went with you know, going that route, but making it a little bit more control oriented, making it a little bit more focused on Maokai. And that's what we're going to try is Maokai with Nasus. Um, so with, with having Maokai, of course, we're going to want like Sea Scarab, be able to help toss. Dead Blue Monitor will be doing a little bit of tossing as well. But for the most part, for leveling up Maokai, we're just going to try to have a lot of our units die. Um, which, of course, if you've played this kind of deck, like we do have a lot of ways to slay our own units and just have a lot of units die, whether, you know, by blocking as well. And so hopefully um, that will help, uh, you know, get our Maokai to level up. We're going to be playing a Siphoning Strike, and then also Nasus with the Champion spell has Siphoning Strike. And I think that could be really, really valuable in this list because Maokai is a 1-4, not very important. But now you give it plus two, plus two with a Siphoning Strike. Now it's a three, six. Now we're talking, right? Like you can make Maokai into Thresh, you know, just body-wise. And, you know, like that that's like pretty powerful. And then if you get another one and then, you know, it's going to be like a five, eight, then it's pretty crazy. So we'll have that. But then we'll have like some control-oriented cards that are probably going to surprise our opponent. We'll have like the Box, Withering Whale, Ruination, like, especially Ruination, like, they may not be expecting Ruination, because, you know, like, we're doing our thing, we're going wide, playing to the board, um, you know, making our opponent go real wide, and making our opponent use all their resources, putting it out there, and then suddenly, boom, Ruination, clear everything up, then that's a ton of slays for Nasus, and that's a ton of things dying on our side for Maokai, and that could be um, really, really powerful. And uh, maybe our opponent can't... Uh, can't do anything after that so yeah so we'll have we'll have kind of multiple ways to win whether we kind of have like an aggressive start to win we have like nasus at the top end to win or we also have maokai with the value you know because like these saplings are going to be like a lot of value towards both uh, maokai and nasus and so like we'll have like value maokai and then if we level up maokai we obliterate their board so another way to win and then if we are like using sea scarab to kind of like toss a whole lot of our deck and our deck is, you know, really thinned out, and it's basically all just our champions because we just like toss all of our uh, followers with the help of Sea Scarab and Maokai. Then, uh, yeah, just Maokai and Nasus are great champions to have left. As I talked about, how like if, if you're just drawing like Siphoning Strike every single round because you know like your Nasus is in play and like this is your champion spell you're drawing every round, <laughs> it doesn't get much better than that for a champion spell to draw each round. All right, anyway, so that, that should hopefully uh, kind of talk about our deck enough. But there we go. It's going to be Maokai, Nasus. Oh, I'm going three Ravenous Butchers because I really want, because because of Maokai, I want three copies of that. Because, of course, it says, like, you know, each round, like the first time you play another ally, you do the whole toss two and make a sapling. So, like, round four, we want to drop Maokai and play another ally to get that bonus. So we want a zero mana allies to be able to do that, and that's what Butcher is. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Maokai Nasus. <laughs> yeah, I'm not exactly sure why leveled up Maokai has regen, but I like it. All right, playing against some burn. We're gonna mulligan expensive cards. Look for cheaper cards. I got just one atrocity in this version to go along with Nasus. Anything else? <laughs> See what we see, soldiers. <laughs> Nineteen away from deep. That's a pretty heavy number. Time for the main event. It's not dreaming, it's dreaming. I 
attack him with everything or just Draven. Dissident. All right, so we have to toss two. And have one thing die, so that's like 3 out of 25 for Maokai's level up. 12% of the way there. Oh, what's up, Maokai? Um, I don't have the ability to play you, then play something else immediately, but I'm still going to play you. I will tend this garden. So I'm not going to be good against an open attack by playing Maokai immediately. For the money makers. I stand for Noxus. I got Unfortunately, with this it looks like they're gonna open attack. Noxian strength. Crowd favorites, rough. Pretty rough. Vision. Now we're cooking. Man, we have run into some really hot opponents. All right. Well, obviously got incredibly punished for going with Maokai instead of just going Dead Bloom Wanderer. But even Dead Bloom Wanderer, I don't, don't know if that really helps us that much. Yeah, might as well toss that. favorite it was too good I mean obviously the the vision though I still felt okay about it until the vision well none of those help Yeah, we have really played against some nutty hands today. The Emperor commands the land obey. Some days is like that. But you know, when when we're like trying to play a whole bunch of Maokai decks, you'd hope that not all of our opponents have amazing hands. <laughs> but not including this one, we've played against three ridiculous hands today. Two Aurelia Zero and one Thresh Nasus. Like three hands that nobody beats. That was a good hand, but there's there's probably some decks that beat that hand. That wasn't necessarily a hand that nobody beats. But they got us. Both our first uh, 10 matches with the three hands that nobody beats. If you don't include those, we're four and three in the other ones. So we had a winning record besides that. But they were like hands like I've never seen before with Thresh. I've played hundreds of games against Thresh Nasus and Aurelia Zier. Okay. So we're doing similar kind of stuff. We're going to be more control oriented. Hopefully that's going to help us out. I actually kind of want to keep this Ruination. Not expecting them to expect it. I guess we have to mulligan Glimpse Beyond, but I would like to Glimpse Beyond the Prey. Uh, Merciless Hunter is great against our Maokai. Stop drawing this atrocity. We need to take atrocity out of this deck. <laughs> this atrocity is a waste of a card. Wait, 
can take this those atrocity is looking like an atrocity see what we see soldiers Don't have ravenous. Are you kidding me? This is just the second best thrush nest to sand we've seen today. Don't you love people to play like top tier meta decks and then emote about how good they are? Don't you love to see that? <laughs> yeah, these. <laughs> Love is not the word to come to mind. Good lord, these hands you've played against. Yeah, these these hands have been ridiculous. <laughs> I'd be a lot less mad at this game if I could draw like these people are. The blessed isles live through me. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Oh, the very best card in their deck against Nasus. Or sorry, against uh, Maokai. Yeah, no wonder they have that. My opponent's a streamer? Oh man, that is... He is a pretty rude streamer. Oh well. I hope they're enjoying their life. I don't really have very good play. I. I kind of feel like maybe I should be going Merciless Hunter right here to, to try to set up Ruination, and that's that's honestly probably what I should be doing. Um, got to got to think that it's likely that my opponent's going to be open attacking the next round, though, and so like the Ruination isn't going to be um, very reliable because of the likely open attack. The cycle begins anew. I can't really imagine how we can win this. Right, because just like playing stuff, attacking. I don't have another Withering Whale. So uh, this has to be over, I would think. We need another Withering Whale. One two. GG's. The atrocities look pretty poor in our deck. It's just one of though, right? Like I'm not I'm not trying to like make atrocity a part of the deck. We just had it early in both of these games and it's just been really hurting us. But it's not something that I really want.
Okay, going PNZ with Targon. Um, it's our best hand so far. We we don't have the attack token round three with the uh, Merciless Hunter, unfortunately. Play the fading icon on round two instead of the sea scarab right about now. A bad setup here. Should have some things die. Okay, so I feel worse about our setup right now. After uh, the first Maokai dying. Hopefully they don't have another Thermogenic Beam to kill this Maokai as well. Alright, cool, cool. The problem with doing this is that, you know, now I don't have more units to be able to play for the Maokai, but uh, the Ezreal is certainly dead. Assuming that they had, you know, like Mystic Shot, that they were going to be protecting the um, Ezreal with. Hell Cascade? Never mind. Not certainly dead. Never mind. All right, so we're going to need to draw really well from here because we are very far behind. Ugh, that's not good. Well, I mean, I guess that, that is a unit for Maokai, at least. I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, I should have. I, I, I realized this afterwards. I'm, so I'm making a couple of mistakes. Like, that was a mistake by me. Of I, I should just let that happen, put the Ezreal down to one health, and use the Withering Will, because the Withering Will doesn't have as many applications as the Black Spear does. So that was a mistake by me. Great draw. No, my siphoning strike. Nobody's 
I can't heal the, keep them from healing their nexus for uh, three, no matter how I challenge. Um, one more card for leveling up Maokai. So it's pretty close. Trying to draw all their cards before their deck would get obliterated. No, no, no. Which they are succeeding in. Unfortunately, I couldn't get that one more. to get that one more before they drew all those cards. One star's whoopsie is another spark. The question is, what do you think about LOR development? And I guess my answer, I mean, I guess, uh, like, they're, they have not, it was pretty obvious that what they said was true, that they really paid way too much attention to the future and future cards and everything instead of the present, um, metagame. And I don't think they did a very good job of... And so, therefore, like, the balance recently has not been too good. But I, I'm hoping that they've learned their lesson. Said that they say that they have. I'm hoping that they've learned their lesson and that uh, moving forward that it will be much better. Man, if we could have just tossed one more, you know, two rounds ago before they played all sorts of other stuff, this would have certainly helped out quite a bit. As is, I think it's probably going to be too late with these elusives killing us. Struggled with elusives today. Um, but I also, like, I have only myself to kind of blame for this game. I really should have used the Withering Whale to kill, to try to kill the Ezreal, um, and save the Black Spear, and the Black Spear for the second Ezreal. So that was, that was my fault. So I lost this game. It's just been a disappointing day, you know. <laughs> a disappointing day. And I, I play one card wrong and it's all over. Yeah, loose has been a huge problem for us. Not again. That was a, a big mistake with the the which cart which removal spell to use. I think we're going to win that matchup most of the time that we play it. Like, I'd, I'd like to continue to play that matchup over and over, and I'd be pretty confident winning it other times, but I lost that game.
So I'm going to Mulliken Maokai, even though like it's a very important card for us because of um, how easy it is to kill in this matchup, especially with Culling Strike. Not a great hand, like not, you know, obviously we don't need Ride Negation early. And Withering Will is a dead card. So not perfect. I mean, I'm, I feel pretty good about all three decks that we have today. Yeah, we're, we're like losing tons of games, but I think our opponents are just really having everything go right for them. I think it's just kind of one of those days. I don't... I don't think it's just like, you know, we're playing Maokai, so therefore our decks aren't good. Um, I'd be confident playing these three decks again, like, tomorrow and doing much, much better. Well, these are a small, small sample size. This is my best play. I liked passing the round there with them not using much else of the rest of their mana. And, you know, like we still had like the four mana for a card like the box available. And Cage, thank you. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Glad Cage says the first deck that ever played was from us with Zed Shen Demacia. Sounds like an awesome deck. All right, we're looking pretty good right now. I would certainly nerf Tribune probably I mean, we're still looking good. I'm not like complaining about this right now, but I'm just saying like this is a change that I would do to hurt Draven Ezreal is nerf this where if that unit goes away, then you don't get the five drop anymore. Cause there's not a lot of like cards to change in Draven Ezreal, honestly. But the deck's incredibly good. There's not like a lot of like individual cards to change, but Tribeam's one that I would change. Also, Tribeam costing five seems to make some some good sense. Okay, so if we have eight mana, assuming we want four to protect Nasus, that means I have five other mana. Um, so like Merciless Hunter and one of the two drops. I guess that two drop is Fading Icon. Maybe Scarum. I'm not sure which one of these two to play. Yeah, maybe Fading Icon. You, you cannot... Fading Icon gives me like this zero one that I could kill, but they they can probably kill that. Like I probably have to. I probably have to get rid of a mana gem. Love it when they run. I got rid of uh, get excited. I 
think one mana. I don't think they're gonna have like a um okay yeah. Like the blade, like the Noxus one mana deal one to anything, fast spell. <laughs> that would have been pretty rough. They would have just had that and they would have stopped the, other, the thing that Katarina makes. Um, that would be rough if they would have just had that and stopped that right there. I'm so good, I surprised myself. Why not Nasus last? Because I know that could have leveled up Nasus, but I didn't want them draining with the 2-4. I wanted to kill that 2-4 before it started draining. But I guess if we would have had the spell shield and then like the siphoning strikes looking a lot easier to do and all that kind of stuff. Good thing I didn't use the siphoning strike. That is going to let us go deep right here, because we're going to draw our other card. If they didn't cast that, I wouldn't be deep. Now I am. See what we see, soldiers. Well, Captain Farron was the best card for me to, or for my opponent to have. There we go, GG's. Because yeah, I guess they, they really just don't have a way to stay alive though. All right, there we go. Good win. One and three. Back in the win column. Back in the win column. What's that end cage? Was that the um, the deck you were talking about? Sorry, excuse me there. <clears throat> All right, so we're watch we're uh, playing against lo loyal uh, viewer of the the stream. This is somebody named Nathan. Awesome guy. So, man, this is tough. Because depending on what we draw, like, all these cards are going to be fairly useful. Depending on what we have. good but the good news about that ruination is that you know now maybe my opponent uh, 
is you know Nathan maybe maybe he's thinking hmm I just saw ruination I should probably you know play around that you know maybe thinking that there could be another ruination thinking maybe I should play around that Still, we're doing a better job emptying the hand than what I am currently. We enter an age of men and gods. I walk through the ages. We have the exact same Nasus. That's pretty crazy. Seriously? Never mind. Never mind. The Isles will bloom again. Well, not our day. Not, again. not our day. Okay, so another 1-4, unfortunately, for our Maokai Nasus deck. Um, just didn't have time there to be able to play Maokai. Opponent had just too aggressive of a hand with all those Merciless Hunters and everything. So that's too bad. Um, yeah, I really thought this deck was going to do a lot better. But our opponents today just... they <laughs> Opponents today were just rocking and rolling. That's every game. It was just pretty crazy today. Um... Yeah, you know, it's just one of those days, right? I'd be I'd be pretty confident in like playing these same decks back tomorrow and, and having good winning records with all of them. Maybe not like the middle deck, you know, but I think this is like more of like a two two three three two deck. But I think I would be pretty confident going three two or four one with this one if we'd run it back. But sometimes you just gotta tip your cap to your opponents. You know, sometimes they just have amazing hands all day. So um, you know, that'll happen. All right, but that's going to be it here for Maokai Nasus. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments and you know, let me know what you think of this deck or you know any of our decks there for Maokai Spotlight Night. If you got any other ideas for other uh, Maokai Spotlight decks, feel free to uh, you know put them out there in the comment section. If you got other uh, good ideas there. Um, but unfortunately wasn't our night for this one. I recommend trying this deck out though. You know, like give, give this one a try if you're looking for a Maokai deck and, you know, something different and, uh, you know, let me know how it goes for you. Cause I, th I think you're, you're going to do better than what we did. Um, yeah, I think, I think you are. All right, but that's going to be it for this one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.